Hello everyone, welcome to my Soap's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless Spoilers recap for Friday, October 6, reveals that Diane Jenkins Abbott will feel worried ahead of her wedding reception with Jack Abbott. Lauren Fenmore Baldwin was supposed to deliver Diane's altered dress, but she'll be running late, and that'll leave Diane suspicious about Lauren's relationship to Phyllis Summers. Although Diane will fear Phyllis would damage her gown and try to spoil the ceremony, Jack and Tracy Abbott will work to convince Diane that everything's going to be all right. At the GTAC on Friday's I and R episode, Billy Abbott will spot Tucker McCall and question why he's still in town. After Billy acts like Tucker has nothing left, Tucker will remind him that Devin Hamilton Winters and Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor still live in Geno City. Although Tucker will make it plain that he's sticking around, he'll persuade Billy that he's backing off Jabbat owing to the blackmail threat. Tucker will think the Abbots have won, but Billy will remain skeptical since backing off isn't the same as abandoning a project. As for Jack and Diane's wedding party, Billy will persuade Tucker to stay away from it. Tucker will pretend dumb about the situation, so he'll continue trying to get under Billy's skin as Billy does the same to Tucker. At Crimson Lights, Phyllis will see Lauren with a dress and notice that it's labeled with Diane's name. After Phyllis realizes Lauren is giving a gown for Diane and Jack's wedding celebration, she'll consider it as a betrayal and argue that Lauren shouldn't be supporting their union. Lauren will act like this was hard enough for her and push Phyllis to ratchet down the fury. Since Lauren will have to take an emergency business trip and won't be able to attend the celebration, a grinning Phyllis will insinuate that she could bring the outfit for her. However, Lauren will know better than to give Phyllis her enemy's gown, so she'll chose to send it off to Chloe Mitchell instead. Back at the Abbott Mansion, Kyle will convince Diane and Jack that he'll be at the reception this afternoon. When Kyle asks if he can bring a date, Jack and Diane will feel apprehensive over that request. Although Diane and Jack will fish to find out whether Kyle's talking about Audra Charles, he'll say things are over between them. Kyle will finally feel it's not a good idea to introduce someone new to Harrison Abbott right now, so he'll decide to skip the date and make today about family. There'll also be some speculation about Kyle being on better terms with Summer Newman, but Kyle will stress that nothing has changed and remind his parents that they aren't getting back together. When Diane and Jack announce that they'll be renewing their vows at the party, they'll wonder if Kyle would be willing to officiate. Kyle will seem touched that they'd approach him and will undoubtedly be on board. At the athletic club, Tucker will flash back to Audra asking him what he'd do now that his job at proposal was scrapped. Once Tucker pulls out his phone, he'll text Audra that he needs her to stoke the fire with Kyle. Once Billy meets up with Jack, he'll suggest putting the false embezzlement money back and send Jack the proof. Jack will assure Billy that it isn't necessary and exhibit trust in his brother as they shake hands. Billy will also share updates on his conversation with Tucker, who shows no indications of leaving town due to Devon and Dominic. That's why Billy will think they should have turned Devon against Tucker, but Jack will remain against that tactic. As for Jack and Diane's approaching vow renewal, Billy will want to keep an eye out for Tucker and preserve their important day. Jack will persuade Billy to let security handle it, since he'll want his family to genuinely be present for the celebration. Once Chloe delivers the dress and Diane puts it on, he'll gush over how beautiful his bride looks. The party will get going outside a little later, so that'll lead to Kyle and Summer enjoying a joke with Tracy about Harrison being boisterous. Diane and Jack will feel hopeful after they'd observe Summer and Kyle getting along. When Chance Chancellor arrives with Sharon Rosales, Summer will stare over their way and excuse herself from her talk with Kyle as well as Tracy. Abby Newman Abbott will also be at the wedding reception with Devon, so she'll stare at Chance with Sharon on his arm. Once Jack kicks off the party with Diane by his side, he'll invite any lingering critics to look in their eyes and experience how powerful their love story really is. At the jazz lounge, Phyllis will listen to Danny Romolotti play the piano before asking if he'd like to enjoy a drink with her. Danny will decline the drink, but he'll keep Phyllis company and try to shock her out of her pity party. Although Phyllis will act like everyone's criticizing her and not giving her a chance, Danny will assure there are lots of people pulling for her, including him. Danny will just believe Phyllis needs to focus on positivism instead of this woe-is-me act, 
that's getting her nowhere. Phyllis will appreciate the motivational talk and will soon join Danny at the piano, where he'll finally finish the bridge he was working on. After Danny thanks Phyllis for the inspiration, he'll underline the significance of offering someone a helping hand instead than kicking them when they're down. Phyllis and Danny will take each other's hands in a beautiful moment. The young and the restless spoilers indicate Phyllis still has a chance to prove she can turn things around, but negative news and setbacks appear more likely. The young and the restless spoilers teaser video for the week of October 9 to 13 shows that there'll be some grilling sessions and some significant disclosures. Why and our fans will see plenty of drama all over town, so let's speak about what's in store. For begin, Phyllis Summers will grill Danny Romilotti about Christine Blair Williams and assume he's battling with lingering affections for her. When Phyllis asks if Christine maintains a special place in Danny's heart even now, he'll respond that of course she does. Since Danny learned that Christine was trying to sort things out with Paul Williams in Lisbon, he may act like Cricket is a friend and nothing more. However, Danny inwardly appeared dissatisfied about Christine making that reconciliation attempt. Since Christine and Paul really are destined for divorce, that may imply good news for Danny's chance to capture Christine's heart again. Over with Heather Stevens, she'll offer Daniel Romilotti Jr. updates on her official decision to end up her law career in Europe and return back home. Daniel will question if Heather is thinking of relocating back to Savannah, but she'll clarify that she's returning to Genoa City instead. Although Daniel will be happy at the chance to spend more time with Lucy Romilotti, the prospect of having his previous flame so close could leave him uncomfortable. It's evident that Heather still has love for Daniel, so this could lead to issues in his relationship with Lily Winters, especially because Daniel seems to have some unresolved sentiments of his own. In Sally Spectra's suite, Nick Newman will convey how much he hates the way Adam Newman is manipulating her. Since it's plainly affecting Sally, Nick will declare he can't go through this again. When Sally queries what Nick is saying, he'll affirm that he wants to break things up. Nick will allow Sally freedom so that she can work out what's in her heart, so he'll dump her, at least until she can make a definite decision about her future. As for Tucker McCall, he'll meet with Devin Hamilton Winters and promise that he doesn't want any more drama in his life. Tucker will swear he merely wants peace and quiet, so Devin will hope that's true. After Tucker tells Devin that he can bank on it, the young and the restless spoilers claim Devon will blindside him with an important question. Devon asks Tucker what his connection to Mamie Johnson, Veronica Red, is in Y and R's weekly preview video, so is Tucker the hidden partner she spoke to over the phone. It sounds like Devon will assume Mamie's ploy is tied to his bio dad, so Tucker may have some explaining to do. Y and R spoilers. Lauren offers unsolicited advice to Phyllis. Lauren Fenmore Baldwin expresses herself. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Friday, October 6, 2023, suggest that Phyllis learns something unexpected from Lauren. In addition, Jack and Diane prepare their huge wedding banquet. This will surely be an episode loaded with remarkable events that you will not want to miss. Highlights from The Young and the Restless Lauren was sad after Phyllis died. She was relieved to find her friend alive, but she was also outraged if Phyllis had put her and everyone else through agony by faking her death. Even though she's typically remained with Phyllis since Lauren is that kind of friend, will Phyllis heed now when Lauren gives her unpleasant advice? Knowing Phyllis, I doubt it. Young and restless spoilers. A happy marriage. Jack and Diane decided to get married straight away at a justice of the peace. Of course, very few folks ended up accompanying them. Kyle couldn't even find the time to go. Since then, they've decided to host a large party for all of their friends and family to celebrate. Sure, not everyone in Geno City is pleased that they got married, but some will undoubtedly turn up. Tracy, Kyle, and Billy will almost probably be there. Even Mammy may turn up to express her support for Jackie. I and our spoilers, it's party time. The big day for their special event looks to have come, as Jack and Diane are getting set to celebrate their wedding. Will everything happen as planned? So what do you guys think about this update?